this season, but it's been a few. What we're on here is a huge, really big trail slash logging road slash hogback slash saddle. Uh, there's just a lot of convergence right here. And we're right up here, not at the not at the highest elevation, but these deer are bedding up at the top, the high elevation based on the direction they're coming from whenever I check the trail cameras and whenever I get that first initial picture. This snow is the real ticket and severe a severe drop in temperatures. We've been in the 40s and 50s this week. Um, and it's dropped down into the I think we're right below the thirties today for the high maybe. Uh, maybe the high twenties, I can't remember, but it's it's low. But it's interesting what these snowstorms can do in driving these deer to get up. Uh, just historically, but just the conditions are very reminiscent of the hunt that I had toward the end of the season last year. Whenever I was hunting, I was on the opposite end of the farm. I'm on the south end right now. I was hunting on the north end. And a deer that had not been here since last summer, since velvet of last year, showed up out of the blue. You know, and it was uh, Poncho. That was the deer. The biggest deer on the property. And we hadn't seen him since summer. And he showed up on a late season snowstorm day uh, for the first time. So, hopefully, you know, at the very least, we'll see one of our target bucks that we know is still in here. So, I'm going to get quiet. We've got a few hours of daylight here left. I'm hoping these deer come in here and give me a shot. Interesting hunt yesterday afternoon. Uh, ended up seeing slob. Just a heck of a buck. Just a great hunt yesterday. He just unfortunately came in a little too late. Well, he came in early enough, but uh, just never did really offer me a shot. I was in the blind yesterday afternoon, which is about 20 yards to my right here. This afternoon, I'm gonna be obviously in a tree stand, as you can tell, but. Hopefully, we get a shot at some. We may, we may not, I don't know. But, uh, we're at least gonna give it a shot and try. So, we'll see what happens.
little high and a little back. I'm not sure if that's a great shot or not. It looks a little high and a little back. But I think we just shot the 14010. I was laughing because I was thinking about all the times I've gotten my butt kicked this season and last season. Deer have absolutely wore me out the past two years. I didn't expect him to come from that direction. Fortunately, the wind stayed good. I'm, sh <laughs> I'm shaking. It's cold. It's very cold. But I'm a little bit excited too. There he is. Right there he is. Well, here he is. This is the deer that I called, we called, me and John and I, the 14010. Uh, he's been on camera here with us for three years now. Um, he was a, a nice four and a half year old deer this year. We've got sheds from him both last year and the year before. Uh, just a really cool deer, symmetrical, nice 10 pointer with a little extra. A little extra point there on his brow time. Just a really cool buck. Worked hard for this deer this season. Um, but you know, it's tough. Late season bow hunting is hard enough. Self filming a late season bow hunt is uh, even harder. It's been a, a good year. I've been blessed for sure. And uh, give God all the glory and credit. Uh, after all, it's his creation. Uh, we're just here to uh, help steward over it. Here's to a, a new year and uh, looking forward to, to all that's to come. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. Today is January 8th and probably what we're gonna call our last day of the season. Uh, this is actually a uh, youth season that we've got here in Southern Tennessee. Just runs for two days, it's today and tomorrow. Looks like we got rain in the forecast for tomorrow. so. This may be our last opportunity to get out and, and try to get a little man a buck. So uh, we're back out here at the river farm. Last time we were in this blind, we had a really good encounter with three different bucks, but uh, we just couldn't get them close enough to get a shot. So we're hoping this afternoon, I don't think anybody else has been in here messing with them. Hopefully they'll uh, do the same thing this afternoon and hopefully they'll come out and a little bit before it gets dark so that kind of is what hurt us last time they when they came out it was just about too dark and by the time they made it all the way across this field we had just lost light and they just wasn't close enough for us to shoot so we're gonna hang out this evening and see what happens hopefully we'll get a shot at something and uh, close out the season this year 2021 slash 22 and uh, get little Manny's first buck
We came back last night and tracked a little bit and noticed that he had bedded and got up. So we've done the smart thing. We turned around and got out and we come back this morning and he probably wasn't 50 yards from that last bed that we found him in last night. So as a dad, this is one of the proudest moments that I guess I can ever be part of for my little man to get his first buck and a nice buck at that. I know I hunted a lot of years before I killed one this good. So that's what do you think, buddy? I'm very excited I killed my first buck. Well, it's, uh, it's something to be proud of. We made the shot, it's a little bit far back, but uh, needless to say, we still, got we still recovered the deer and uh, we get to close out this season with Thatcher killing his second deer of the year and his first really nice buck. So I'm proud and uh, can't wait to see what the future seasons hold for me and them both. I love you, buddy. Love you. Welcome back here, buddy. It's been a few weeks since I've been in the tree. It's Saturday, December the 4th. And today, we're on Doe Patrol. My granddaughter, Jenna, is on our first ever deer hunt. We're hoping to do some doe management tonight. Hopefully several, if we get a chance. We're going to do our best to try to maybe get a doe on camera tonight. Right, right there, you don't have to track. Good job, baby girl. Thank you. 